Hi, I'm Laura with Cybert, and I'm going to give you an overview of templating.app and show you the various ways that you can create issue, project, subtask templates, as well as some powerful configurations of the issue create screens with behaviors. And the first thing we'll look at are the issue templates. So this is an example of an employee onboarding. You have a whole hierarchy of issues that can be created automatically. So this is a really easy way to standardize your processes. Each time you have a new employee that's coming, you can click on Create Issues. And in just a few clicks, you have 15 issues that are created, and they even have customized content great thanks to that uh, screen that we saw. For example, the choices that I made of the uh, content, it's already been set up. It's really easy to create new templates as well. There are a number of pre-configured templates that allow you to get started really quickly. So let's go back to the other features. So the next thing we can look at are the project templates. This is a way to make it really easy for your users to be able to create new projects without having to ask your Jira admin, who already has a lot to do, to create the project for them. So we can, uh, the user experience, they just click on the uh, template, give it a name, a key, and they can create a new project. To set this up, you can configure in advance all of the different schemes that you want to apply to this. So example, you have consultants who regularly need to create new projects for their new consulting projects. You know that each time they will need uh, the JIRA default field configuration scheme. Maybe for the issue type scheme, it's from this process management project. Uh, that's a scheme that's already existing. Um, permission scheme, each time they always will need this. So it's a great way to have everything set up. Users don't have to create more tasks for the JIRA admin, they're independent to go and create their project. You can control who can cre uh, create new projects with this feature by adding groups or individual users. So you know as well that it's not all of your employees who are able to create new projects, but uh, depending on your templates, assign it to different groups, different users. So people just have access to what they need. If I go into software projects that I have, we'll see this next feature, which is subtask templates. So these are configured in the project. And here we have for this regular recurring task of App Store release, a number of subtasks that are already configured. You can even add a uh, description, assignee, labels, and things like that. So everything is already pre-configured. And then from your project, select a template, and the subtasks are created in just a few clicks. So let's go look at the last feature of templating, which is the behavior builder. So this allows you to customize the experience of the create issue screen. So if we look at what we have created here, We've decided that every time that there's a bug report, we've selected two projects and two issue types where this will apply. We want this behavior to run immediately when the screen is loaded and every time a field using a condition changes. So uh, we've set a condition, and the condition is if the priority field is highest, then a couple things are going to happen. So first thing is we're going to make the assignee field required. That means people can't create bugs without assigning them to someone. And we're going to modify the description. This is a really great way to template content. You, uh, if you need people to provide certain information in the description, we have this important, this critical bug, you want them to provide a number of details, you can have this templated in the description. 
And then we have some alternative modifications that if the conditions are not met, so if the priority is not highest, then something else will happen. And here we've decided simply to set the priority as lowest. So if I go into my project and create a new bug and set the priority as highest, we can see right away the description has been updated with this templated text. And down here, the assignee is now automatic. So this is a really powerful feature. You can also hide fields if they should, users don't need to see them depending on certain conditions. Uh, like we saw with the templating of the description field, make sure that uh, you're getting the information that you need and provides a better user experience. So there are links in the description for the documentation as well as for the marketplace for templating.app so you can get started with a trial today.